Welcome to another edition of City Beat. For the Herald and Review, I'm Kenneth Lowe. On Thursday, City Manager Ryan McCready visited with the Herald and Review editorial board to discuss a new citywide garbage plan. Let's look at some of the details. McCready spoke with us about a plan he'll present to the City Council. If approved, parts of it could begin as soon as next month. Twice a week pickup and backdoor service would be eliminated in favor of once a week curbside service. The new rate would be $16.50 per month or about 80 cents higher than average customers now pay. Backdoor service could continue in cases of hardship, McCready said. All residents would receive 96 gallon totes for garbage included with their service. For additional garbage, residents can opt for a second tote at $6 per month or $1.50 per bag stickers for big garbage days. Haulers will pick up 25 bags of yard waste a week for free during April and November, with the same stickers required for yard waste bags during the rest of the year. The city would begin billing garbage collection on residents' utility bills and would make a move toward monthly billing instead of once every three months. The plan also includes a new single-stream recycling program. The new recycling program would increase the rate from $1.65 to $4.60 a month. Residents would receive a 65-gallon tote included in the price. Single stream recycling would mean no sorting required. Apartment complexes with six or fewer units could take part in recycling, but larger apartment buildings wouldn't see service until an additional plan is created. If the council votes in favor of the programs by the end of the month, new recycling would begin in October and the new garbage hauling regulations could take effect in January. Of course, all of those changes are subject to council approval. McCready said he expects some will have strong feelings about the proposed changes, but he said that they should hopefully lead toward more people adopting recycling in the community and garbage haulers spending less time and gas cruising city streets. So, that's what's happening in the city this week. For the Herald and Review, I'm Kenneth Lowe. Take care.